in this video i will cover how to create default data and how to reset default data let's give an example so that it will be clear suppose this is the this is the motor here for this motor there are the nameplate data this is 850 kilowatt 6.6 .6 kb motor so these are the data already filled in for this 850 kilowatt medium voltage motor if i want to create similar type of motors let's say there are 10 numbers 20 numbers motors so no need to specify every time the same nameplate data this impedance parameters no need to put each and every time so what you can do you can you can use this use this function copy data to default copy data to default if you choose this one then it has copied data to the default element that means whenever you will create another motor suppose let's say let's uh, pick up one new motor okay click here you can see already this data are available so this is the same rating same type same motor parameters are there so it is copied automatically so it up will bring this by default okay so that is the advantage now what is the disadvantage whenever i want to assign same different 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 types different rating of motors suppose lv motors that time it will be difficult if i continue with this default setting because for lv motors there will be different parameters nameplate this impedance parameters will be different so how to stop this basically how to stop this default data how to stop this default data here you can see default tab go to the default tab this is not only applicable for motors this is applicable for any other equipment or branch or any component whatever available in etf so you need to go to that particular or equipment or component suppose i want to get back the original default data for this particularly for this induction machine so let's go there here it will show it will show you what are the default data it is holding so this is the default data nameplate and impedance parameters it is holding now i need to reset this one so where is the option here you can see get original default value i think it is not visible okay here copy and here is the get original default values let's click here and now it is resetted you can see 0 kilowatt 0 kv click ok now let's check whether it is working or not let's create a new motor you can see 0 kilowatt that means it is reset now yeah so this is the original default data this is the original default data you can see impedance or nameplate parameters are blank now so in this way you can get back the original default data for any for any component or equipment in etap software this is a small video but sometimes it is required so it will be very helpful